Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jerry and I like to crochet. I just want to apologize in advance for my voice. I've kind of lost it at the moment. I just got back from Singapore visiting my family and I caught a cold off my gong gong, uh, my grandfather. And his excuse was that I drank too many cold drinks. <laughs> but I think I really caught it from him. I had a little break from crocheting while I was there because I didn't have enough space to bring all my stuff with me. But in the meantime, I just spent so much time just scrolling through Pinterest, trying to come up with some ideas of what I could make when I got back. And one thing about me is that I love Pinterest. Like Pinterest, love you. And I just saw so many cute things on there, like I got so much inspiration and I couldn't really decide what I wanted to be my next project. So I thought, how about I just try and make all of it. So I picked a few different items. I didn't want to make all of the same thing. So I've got like some hats, some gloves and some bags. And I just think I'm going to have a go. I don't have any patterns for these whatsoever. So I'm literally just going to be basing it off the photo and just basically raw dogging it. Raw dogging it. I'm so sorry for describing making crochet items as raw dogging. I still do have some leftover yarn that I can use, but I'm actually running out a little bit at the moment. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the yarn store and I'm just just gonna have a look at the colors they have available and see what works best for me. So I'm gonna head out now and I'll see you when I get back. Two hours later. Okay, so I got the goods. I bought a bunch of different types of yarn in lots of different colors too. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some of these as well as some of the ones that I already own to make the things I saw on Pinterest. I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna follow the exact color scheme that I saw in the pictures. We'll just see when I get around to it, but I'm just gonna give it a go. So one of the first things that I saw on Pinterest was this pair of really cute fingerless gloves, and it has a nice little ribbon in the center. And I saw these and I thought they would be really simple to make, and I also really like the color scheme because I like the color brown a lot. I think brown is actually a really underrated color. and it suits my skin tone a lot. So I'm gonna follow the color scheme of this picture for these ones. I have these two balls of yarn left over from a previous project. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this for the body of the glove. And then I'm gonna use the darker brown for the trimming and then the bow on the front. I'm also gonna use my trusty 5.5 millimeter hook uh, because this is the hook that I use to make most of my projects. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by chaining the width of my wrist. So I have a feeling this is gonna be just under 30 chains. So I guessed correctly and I ended up chaining 28 chains and all I did was slip stitch into the first one to create this like circle which is going to go around my wrist and then next what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chain one and then I'm going to do half double crochets into every single stitch. So I'm going to start by creating these half double crochets into every single loop and all you do is you wrap your yarn around the hook, place it into the loop and then pull through all three loops. So I'm just gonna keep doing this until I get to the end. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch, chain one, and continue doing half double crochets all around. So that was the first row and I'm gonna do it for 14 more rows. So I have 15 in total. So now that I'm on the 16th row, all I need to do is I need to create the thumb hole. So I'm going to start by chaining four, and then I'm just going to slip stitch into the fourth stitch. So I'm counting four here and I'm going to slip stitch into this part. And then I'm going to continue doing my half double crochets. When we get to the part where we've got the chain four, all you need to do is do half double crochets into each of these chains. And as you can see, I'm struggling a little bit because these chains tend to be a little bit tighter. And once you get to the end, this will create a nice solid thumb hole. So just keep doing this half double crochet pattern until you have 20 rows in total. So I finished my main part of the glove and all that's left to do is the trimming and the bow. So I'm gonna take my darker brown yarn that I have here and I'm going to do single crochets into the top. And then in the bottom, I'm going to do two double crochets into every single stitch. And this will create like a nice little trimming effect. So as you can see, I've attached my yarn and I've done two chains. And now I'm just going to do one more double crochet into the same loop. So in order to do a double crochet, all you need to do is wrap your string around your yarn, place it into the loop, pull up and wrap around the first two and then the next two. So in the rest of these chains, we are just going to do two double crochets into every single one.
When you've finished doing your double crochets, all you need to do is slip stitch into the first stitch and then cut your yarn and chain off. So I've got my glove finished here and all I need to do is I just need to create the bow that will go onto the front. So I think again I'm going to take my dark brown yarn and I'm going to make a chain of 50 and then I will tie this into a bow and then use my darning needle to attach it onto the glove and then it will be finished. So this is what the completed gloves look like and as you can see I got a little bit lazy with my darning so I didn't darn all around the ribbon just in the middle but I would recommend if you're doing this at home maybe darn on the whole ribbon but I think overall they look really Really, really sweet the color combination is nice also i do really like the ribbons though i think they just add like a slight little feminine touch and i can already imagine what kind of outfits i would wear with it but i think they turned out really accurate in comparison to the picture so i'm super happy with how these turned out so the next thing that i saw on pinterest that i really wanted to make was this crochet cat ear beanie and this one was really nice it has like a little trimming on the bottom and it has a little embroidered star And if you watched my video where I talked about what I made in 2022, you would know that I love making cat ear beanies. Like they're so easy to make and you just do the same stitch repeated over and over again. So when I saw this one, I thought it would be a really nice variation of some of the things I've already made previously. When I went to the yarn store, I ended up buying these two types of yarn. This black one here is just a regular wool. And then this pink one here is actually quite a bit softer. They didn't have the exact same type of yarn that I saw in the picture, but I thought this one would be a nice alternative, especially as the color match is really really good. What I'm going to start by doing is I'm going to use this on the bottom and then I'm going to use the black later on the top and I'm going to start by chaining the circumference of my head. So I have a really big head so I have a feeling this is going to be about 70 chains but again if you're making this at home just do it to whatever size fits your head best. I'm going to start by doing some single chains and as you can see I'm struggling a little bit with this yarn because I've never used it before but all you do to chain is wrap your string around your hook and pull through the bottom so I'm just going to keep doing this and using my head as a reference so that I get a good size for the hat. And now all I'm going to do is I've attached it and I've chained one and I'm just going to start by doing half double crochets into every single stitch. So you do a half double crochet by wrapping your string around the hook oh and as you can see I'm struggling so around the hook into the chain pull up a loop and then yarn over through all three I'm gonna do it one more time and just keep doing that all the way around and then once you've reached the end all you need to do is slip stitch into the first chain so pulling through chain one and then just keep going with these half double crochets all the way around. And I'm gonna do this for one more row so that I have three in total. So after completing three rows in the pink color, all I'm going to do is chain off and then I'm gonna attach my black yarn into really any point in the hat. And then I'm just going to do the same thing. So I'm just going to continue doing half double crochets all the way around and then slip stitching into the first chain. And I'm just gonna do this for as many rows as I want the length to be. So I'm not exactly sure how long that will be just yet. So as you can see, I've attached my black yarn onto the pink that we've done so far. And I'm just going to keep doing these half double crochets. And as I do this, I'm also going to tuck in the pink end at the back so that I don't have to darn it in later and this will just make things so much easier at the end process because if you've watched my previous videos you know I hate tucking in my ends, I can't do it and I hate it so much. I finished making the length of the hat and then all I did to attach it was I just did single crochets along the top attaching the two together and then I just chained off. So this is what the hat looks like and as you can see I haven't darned in the end yet but I think it's a pretty good size and now all I need to do is embroider the star and it's complete. Okay so I've been trying to embroider the star pattern and what I've realized is that I fucking suck at embroidering. Like embroidering is just not for me. So I've done this like little star and this is what it looks like. <laughs> as you can see it's like so wonky but i'm hoping that like when i wear it it won't look so obvious because of the like roundness of my head but yeah it kind of didn't come out very well so this is what the hat looks like on and with all things considered i think it turned out 
pretty cute. I did struggle with the star embroidery a lot, like I had to do it a few times, but I think with the roundness of my head, it looks pretty okay. Like it's quite obvious that it's a star, you know? And yeah, this product was super simple to make. It only took me a couple hours or less and I, I like it a lot. Okay, so my hair was annoying me, so I decided to tie it up. But the next thing I saw on Pinterest was this really cute heart bag. And I just thought it would be really easy to make because it just looks like two granny squares put together. And I really like using granny squares. I think they're super versatile. And this heart one just looked really, really sweet. I already had this pink color yarn at home. So when I went to the yarn shop, I bought this blue one. And I think they look pretty accurate compared to the picture. This pink is a little bit brighter than I would like it to be, but I think it's better to use the yarn I already have rather than keep buying more so i'm just going to follow the picture as a reference and i'm going to use this pink to make the heart this blue to make the majority of the granny square and then i'm going to do a pink trim around the ends and in order to make this i actually found a really helpful tutorial so i will put that in the link in the description so that if you want to do this at home you know how to make it because this granny square is not my own creation and i don't want to take credit for something that's not mine this is my granny square after i completed it and as you can see i put the heart in the middle i did three rows of blue and then a pink trimming around the ends so i'm just going to make one more of these and then I'll move on to the straps. So now all I did was I chained six and then I'm creating single crochets into every single chain and I'm going to keep doing this until I get the length of the strap that I need so until it goes around all three sides of the bag. And then when I'm done, I'm just going to grab my blue yarn and all I'm going to do is I'm going to keep doing the same single crochet pattern until I get the length of the strap. Okay, so I ended up passing out last night. It's currently the next day. Also guys, what are your thoughts on me wearing lip liner? I just tried it out today and I'm not really sure how I feel about it. it kind of makes my lips look bigger and nicer, but at the same time, I can't tell whether I just look like the ugly stepsister from Trek. <laughs> But let me know what you think in the comments down below because I can't tell how I feel about it yet and I need validation. Anyway, back to crocheting. But as you can see, I finished making all of the pieces for my bag. I've got these two granny squares right here and I've also got this strap that I made. And the pink is just going to go all the way around the three sides of the granny square and then the blue is just the part that you carry it with. So all I need to do is take my yarn and my crochet hook and I'm just going to slip stitch around the edges and attach all the pieces together and then my bag will be complete. I'm just attaching my granny square onto the strand by doing slip stitches so all you need to do is put the hook through pull through the bottom and then instead of chaining round we just pull through the loop again so i'm going to do that one more time and i'm going to do this all the way around on both squares so i've pretty much finished the bag i attached all the pieces together and this is what it looks like so far i think it came out pretty cute um it looks really close to the picture that i saw on pinterest all i need to do now is just darn in the ends which is my least favorite part but i can just imagine this being like a cute little bag if you just have a few small things to pack i think it would be really nice you can even just use it as like maybe a toiletry bag to go inside your main purse but yeah it's pretty cute the next thing that I'm going to be making is a super cute water bottle holder. It was actually one of my New Year's resolutions this year to drink more water because I don't think I do that enough. So I was hoping that maybe if I create something cute that I can hold my water bottle in, I will be a little bit more motivated to drink more. Don't get me wrong, I do drink quite a decent amount of water. It's just that I actually don't own a water bottle. So I mostly just drink within the house and when I'm at work, I just survive off coffee. I work with children. Please don't judge me for needing to be caffeinated. 95% of the time. To make this water bottle holder, I'm going to be using this really nice green yarn that I bought at the yarn store. I think it matches the color in the picture pretty well. And then I'm also going to be using a yellow and a white, which I already own, to make the daisy that will go on the front. So because I don't own a water bottle, I'm literally just going to be using this empty coffee <laughs> that I bought earlier on this morning. <laughs> And I think this is like a decent size, like it's a pretty similar size to like a normal water bottle. So I think it should be fine to use as a reference. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by making a circle that will go at the bottom. And then I'm just going to build it upwards using some double crochets with like spaces in the middle. And this will give it like a nice netted effect. And then for the flower, I think I'm just gonna wing it. I'm gonna do something similar, making a yellow circle for the middle, and then I'm gonna do some white trimming around the ends. I'm gonna start by creating a magic loop. And then I'm just going to chain up two before doing 12 double crochets into every single stitch. So in order to do a double crochet, all you have to do is wrap this yarn around your hook, chain into the loop, pull up, 
and then do the first two loops and then the next two loops. So we're just going to keep doing 12 of these. Now that we have the 12, I'm just going to pull the string tight and this will close the circle. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch before chaining two again. Make sure to count here that you have 12 chains in your circle. And then what we're going to do is we are going to do two double crochets into every single loop. So not one, two, and this will make the circle get bigger. And when you get to the end, make sure to slip stitch into the first stitch and then chain two again. Now this time we're gonna do something a little bit different. We are going to chain one into the first stitch and then chain two into the next stitch. So as you can see, we are going to chain one into the first stitch and then chain two into the next stitch. And then when you get to the end, do the same thing, slip stitch into the first stitch and then chain two. So this is the pattern that I did to fit the size of the bottle that I'm using. But if you have a bigger bottle and therefore need a bigger circle, what you can do is that you can do two double crochets into the first two stitches. And then in the third double crochet, do two double crochets. So it should be one, one, and then two into the third double crochet. And this will ensure that your circle gets bigger by one more round. So now that we've finished that, we are just going to be building up the height. So we are going to do double crochets into the back loops of every single stitch. So no more increases this time, just one single double crochet into the back loop of every single stitch. And when you get to the end, do the same thing, slip stitch into the first stitch and chain two. So this is what my water bottle holder looks like so far. As you can see, I've done double crochets in each loop. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do the same thing for two more rows. And this will just build up a little bit of height on the sides. For these next two rounds, however, we are not going to be chaining into the back loops only. We are going to be chaining into the whole loop. So please remember to do this if you are following along at home. So now what we are going to do is after I've chained two, I'm going to do a double crochet, chain one, and instead of going into the chain right next to us, we're going to skip it and go into the next chain. And this is what is gonna create this like hole effect. So now again, we're going to chain one, skip a chain and then double crochet into the next one. And we're just gonna keep doing this all the way around. And then when we get to the end, after doing our last double crochet, again, we are going to chain one, and then we are going to slip stitch into the first chain on the round. Chaining two again, and this time we're gonna do a little something different. We are going to do our double crochets into the holes. So here you can see I'm doing my double crochet, and then I will chain one, and then do my next double crochet into the hole. We're just going to continue doing that same pattern for as many rows as you want the height of the water bottle holder to be. So I've got to my desired height, I ended up doing 10 rows of the pattern, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one instead of chaining two, and I'm just going to single crochet all the way round, and this will just make sure that the water bottle holder has a nice finish. So after completing my single crochets, I'm just going to slip stitch again and then chain two, and this time we are going to do six half double crochets. So in order to do a half double crochet, all you need to do is wrap your string round into the loop and chain through all three loops on your hook. So I'm gonna do it again one more time. And I'm just gonna do six of these. And once you've completed your six, you are just going to chain two, flip your work around, and then continue doing these half double crochets into the six stitches that we already did. And this is what is going to build up the strap. So just continue doing this until you get the length of the strap that you like.
Now that I've completed the strap and I've got to my desired length, all I'm going to do is fold my bottle in half and I'm going to slip stitch into the six stitches on the opposite side. So this is what my water bottle holder looks like so far. And all I need to do now is create the flower and then attach the two pieces together. So these are the two yarns I'm going to be using to make the daisy. I'm going to be using the yellow for the center first. So all I need to do is start making a circle. I'm going to start by making a magic loop. And then I'm going to chain two before doing 10 double crochets into the circle. And when you finish doing the 10 double crochets, all you need to do is pull the yarn tight to close it and then slip stitch into the first stitch. And then we are going to chain two again. And now I'm going to do two double crochets into every single stitch. And this will ensure that the circle gets bigger. To finish off my circle, I've just slip stitched into the first stitch and I'm going to cut my yarn and then I'm going to chain off. And then I'm going to attach my white yarn onto the circle. So this time to make the petals, all you are going to do is start by chaining two and then doing two double crochets into the first stitch, two into the next stitch, chain two and then slip stitch into the first stitch. And what this does is this creates the petals. So we're just gonna keep doing this all around the circle until we've got 10 petals. I've almost finished my flower. This is what it looks like so far. And as you can see, it might be a little bit crinkled, but it's okay because once we darn it onto the water bottle holder, it will be quite flat. And now all I need to do is I just need to take some black yarn and a darning needle and I need to embroider the little smiley face and then put the pieces together. So this is the finished water bottle holder and I'm so happy with how it turned out. Like I think it looks really, really good. I'm really glad I went with the green yarn, just like the picture because I think it looks really nice. And now I'm super excited to go out and buy water bottles so I can actually start using this. So I'm gonna have to call it there, you guys. I've been crocheting nonstop for the past two days and my hands are exhausted. But I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and crocheting along with me. And I hope maybe this inspired some of you to have a go at crocheting some of the things you see on your Pinterest pages too. I know I didn't get to cover too many things in this video, but that's because I've just been really pressed with time. So let me know in the comments if you would like to see a part two to this. I would definitely consider making something like this again. I think it was really, really fun and I enjoyed doing it a lot but in the meantime please don't forget to follow me on instagram and on tiktok at io official and if you enjoyed watching this video i hope you consider subscribing to my channel and giving me a thumbs up because that really helps me out a lot if you made it this far throughout the video thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time Bye bye